Hey everybody, welcome back. So today's tutorial is going to focus on how to make this drip can. The nice thing about this drip can is that it fits the drip can from E squared, from Crimson, and also from the Leopard Buffalo. So if you have any of those three, then this tutorial will work for it. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need the cut file. I purchased it from makefreshies.com, which is Crimson's website. I linked it in the description of this video. And so now all I'm gonna do is I'm going to go find it and then I'm gonna upload it into Design Space. So now that it's in my canvas, you can see all the different pieces. If you want, you could do the full can design. Um, but what I'm going to do is just go delete the extras and I'm just going to stick with the drip and then the bottom piece just because it's quicker as I'm making freshies. But you can use whichever you would like. So on that sidebar, I went ahead and pulled all those pieces up so that that would help ungroup them. And then I deleted the top piece because I just want the drip and the can part. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out how many drip cans I can fit on a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Now you'll see later that Cricut Design Space gets mad if you do a full 12 by 12 sheet. But that's where I started is at 12 by 12 and then I just went ahead and smushed them together. It allows 11 and a half inches. Um, and I just like to use a glitter cardstock to cut out these drips on. And you'll also see that those drips are just labeled as a basic cut because I'm just going to cut out a piece of paper in that shape. Now for the can part, you'll change it to print then cut and then you can put whatever pattern or shape you want. I'm going to show you two different ways. So I've already gone in and uploaded a Dr. Pepper can. So I'm going to add that to canvas and then I'm going to use the slice feature to slice the can design onto this can shape so that I could make a Diet Dr. Pepper Freshie if I wanted to, or a Dr. Pepper Zero, because Dr. Pepper Zero is clearly supreme. So I just made sure I dragged my mouse over both so that they were both selected. And then down at the bottom right, you can see that button that says slice, and that's what lets you slice those pieces together. So then you're just gonna separate out the pieces that you don't want. Um, there's my can that I'm gonna keep, and then I just delete the rest. So there's one option. The other option is that you can change that print and then cut from color to pattern, and then you can choose any of the patterns that you've uploaded to Cricut Design Space. So I kind of get my patterns from all over. I do have a different video that talks about how I find patterns and different things like that. I honestly don't remember where a lot of these came from. Um, but once you have a pattern you like and you've adjusted the size, I like to throw up a 6.75 by 9.25 square and that helps me see how all the pieces will fit. And for these, you can fit three cans on top and then three cans on the bottom. And then I attach them so that they stay all connected when I go to cut. So I'm just going to save the file and then I'm good to go ahead and cut out my patterns. So I'm just going to jump ahead to having it cut out. You guys know how it works. You'll just go up to make, cut it out on whatever paper you want. Um, on this one I'm going to cut out the drip and then I'm also going to cut out the can. But if you want to skip the drip part you could totally do that and you could just do glitter on the actual freshie instead of a glitter drip. Okay so now here we've got the can piece cut out. And then we also have that glitter drip. And then I like to add the drip first because that helps keep it in place. So you can just kind of push it down in to where you want it to go. And then you're just gonna flip the can piece upside down and then again, just put it right where it needs to go. So then once I get it in place, I like to pour a couple beads on top. That just helps prevent that top can piece from shifting and from beads getting up underneath it. And then I like to add glitter to the top. So lately I've been obsessed with Glitzy Glitter. Their stuff is so pretty and you can use save, code save at checkout for 10% off. Then I put in my 22 ammo casings to help hold my holes and then I just pour beads around it and I'm ready to bake. And with these new pans I got, I bake on 315 degrees for 16 minutes and it has really helped my lines be just so much better. They're the Wilton brand pans so I'll link those in the notes because they are amazing. Now that it's baked, the last thing is to just pull it out. I pull out my handy dandy Sharpie oil-based paint pen. Those are my favorite just because they're so much quicker. This is the bold size, that's why it's so thick. And so then I just go around all of the edges and then I'm finished with this one and I'll show you what it looks like outside as well because everything looks better outside. 
So here it is. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you're able to make some of your own. And then I'll also link my Facebook group. And I would love for you to come post the things that you make in there.